Welcome everyone! In today's video, I would like to talk about the mounts you can farm weekly in The War Within. The mounts in question you can farm weekly are the Dauntless Imperial Lynx and the Machine Defense Unit 111. They are pretty simple to get, so let's not waste any more time and let's get right into it. Firstly, let us talk about the Dauntless Imperial Lynx. In the mount journal, it is said that it drops from spreading the light. If by any chance you don't know what that is, it is the event in Hallowfall where you complete tasks such as collecting stuff, killing harvesters and mushrooms or gathering some crabs. It all happens in this area here on the map. There are these world quest type objectives and then there are the quest like objectives which you have to light the braziers with the radiant remnants to be able to do. These remnants drop from the maps around the zone. When you complete the world quest-like objective, you will get an item called Lamblighter Supply Satchel. You get the item from the quest objectives too, but sometimes these quests do not reward them. And well, the mount has a small chance to drop from these satchels. The satchels are warbound, so you can send them to your other characters. Why would you want to do that? Well, you can also get gear of an 564 item level, which is a good item level to start as a fresh level 80 character. The second mount, the Defense Unit 111, comes from Awakening the Machine event in the Ringing Deeps. The event is pretty simple. You have to clear 20 waves of mobs while keeping Speaker Coldass alive. The mobs in the event are level 80, so if you want to clear it more than once, I advise you to come with your max level alts. Once you're finished, you will get teleported back to Speaker Caldas in Gundergas with chests waiting to be opened. Also, do not forget to take the weekly quest from Nobles, which requires you to complete the 20 waves, so the whole event, and will reward you with the Awakened Cache. The mount doesn't come from the Awakened Cache, it only comes from the chests you open after you finish the scenario. I saw my friend getting it from the biggest cache, the middle one, and I'm not sure if it can drop from the smaller ones, but I doubt it can. You can also get some cool transmogs from the chest, like these shoulders I got. And that's it for the video. Which mount from the War Within is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. For me, I know it's gonna sound a bit strange, but I like the Delver's Dirigible. I love mech mounts and... I mean... I play a mechanome, so I have a bias towards anything mech related. Like the video if you liked it, and make sure to charge that subscribe button as well. Thank you so much for watching the video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later!